Hey everybody, today we're on the road and coming to you from the Opelika Songwriters Festival here in Opelika, Alabama. And I'm on the front porch of the Soundwall Recording Studio, the headquarters of the festival and owned by my friends Rob and Jen Slocum, founders of the Opelika Songwriters Festival. Now I'm going to be shooting our weekly enchilada episode right here on the porch and uh, also include a few clips of downtown and include some of the action at the songwriters festival so if you missed it this year you can make your plans to be here next year it's been amazing the music's so great so come on let's go check it out okay come on Little towns changed a lot. Said it hurt like hell. What hurts the most is being so close and having so much to say. Watching you walk away. Pour some whiskey with that woman left deepest cut. Let that stain bring the thing that's gonna heal it up. Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. And if it's your first time with us, thanks for tuning us in. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And today, we're going to take a good look at deception. Deception is defined as an untrue falsehood or is the act of lying to or tricking someone. An example of deception is when you tell someone you're 30 when you're actually 40. Ah. Now, what are the six types of deception, you ask? Well, they are omission, distortion, half-truths, blatant lies, white lies, and failed lies. And what are signs of deception? Lack of self-reference, verb tense, answering questions with questions, Urgh, I hate that, equivocation, oaths, euphemisms, lack of detail. Every deception is comprised of two parts. Dissimulation, which is covert hiding what is real and simulation, which is covert showing the false. Deception is a major relational transgression that often leads to feelings of betrayal and distrust between relational partners. Deception violates relational rules and is considered to be a negative violation of expectations. So, what is the difference between lying and deceiving, you ask? Well, lying is the act of telling something known to be false. Deceiving is using some sort of plot for personal advantage. Misleading is causing someone to have a wrong idea or impression of something. They're all pretty similar, but the devil's in the details, don't you know? So, how do you deal with deception? Forgive yourself for being fooled. 
shoot, it happens. Don't give a known liar the benefit of the doubt. Learn the basics of deception detection. Stop being shy about checking things out. Don't change who you are. Now, how do you know someone is deceitful? Here's some clues. Concealed true intentions. Someone who consistently encourages others to share first. Takes credit for the work of others. Uh-huh. Unnecessary drama. Withholding instruction. Unsuspecting gifts. Beneficial alliances. Sneaky questions. Now, what is the negative effect of deception? Potential for participants to change their mind about the use of their data after the deception is revealed. Damage to a participant's self-esteem through feeling ashamed, guilty, stressed, embarrassed, feeling manipulated, or lacking control over their own experience. What emotion is typically underneath lying and deception? Fear of being caught, guilt about lying, and delight in having duped someone. That's incredible. Well, you know, in researching deception, I read a lot of things that sounded familiar to me. We are being bombarded with people of opposing views going after each other's throats every single day about nearly everything in our screwed up world. Lying, deception have become the norm in attacking each other's views on a topic. I know it's true that if someone tells a lie long enough, it becomes the truth in their mind. Sadly, I think the same is true if someone or some group creates a false narrative and says it over and over each day for an extended period of time, less informed people may eventually begin to believe it is the truth. Oh, something for all of us to take a serious look at, don't you think? Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.